How did you get to be the cook? Um, well, when I got to college, my mom started, I didn't really cook in high school, but when I got to college, you kind of had to learn. A lot of college um, kids, though, get cup of noodles. Yeah, I, I had those, plenty of those, too. <laughs> I like ramen, but... <laughs> yeah. I, but, so what were the first things that you started with? Uh, I think easy stuff, like spaghetti, um, you know, just getting out of the jar, not really making it fresh myself, but start with spaghetti, start with basic things like chicken, and just, I, I really started on the grill, because, you know, that's like the manly thing to do, you gotta cook on the grill, so... I started on the grill, do burgers, easy things like that. And then I started getting like really into it and like started doing like lasagnas, like chicken wraps, like stuff like that, fajitas. Um, yeah, steaks, I love steak. And uh, I like smoking things too. Are you crying? <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. It's also why I had you do that because I cry every single time, every time. I didn't until yeah. I got LASIK. When I was wearing contacts, didn't have to worry about it. Really? The minute I got LASIK, because there wasn't anything else on my eye, I mean, it looks like I'm at a funeral. <laughs> it's terrible. It'll get you. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I just feel bad that... It's okay. You're tearing up on us. I know, it's, it's been a long day. We're gonna call them tears of happiness. It's been, been a long day today. What? A good what? cry is good for you every once in a while. So who was the cook in your house growing up? Uh, both my mom and dad. Really? Yeah, I would say my dad more so on like, like I said earlier, like the grill or uh, kind of anything like that. Uh, my mom definitely did most of the inside stuff. She's, I would definitely give her the award, so she's, uh, she's really good. She knows how to do it. What's, uh, what's the favorite thing that she makes? Oh, jeez. Her, uh, what did I mess up? Nothing? She makes, a, like, a sneaky good meatloaf. I know, I love meatloaf. A good meatloaf, she makes really good fajitas, um, chicken, steak, shrimp. Uh, those kind. Makes a great lasagna. Uh, it's kind of where I get my recipe from. So. What's the secret to your lasagna? Uh, TLC. Ten <laughs> tender He's not going to share the recipe with me. Tender love and care, right? And a little salt. So That's let me ask you, and a little salt. <laughs> so let me ask you this. When you do your lasagna, do you use the no-bake noodles? Or do you... Cook the noodles ahead of time and then lay them down. If I'm going for quick convenience, the no -bake yeah, the no big. They're so easy. I mean, they are easier, but sometimes they'll get a little soggy. But it's just easy. I know to not have to cook them and then wait. And I generally don't have the patience. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so usually I'm going no, no big. Yeah, no big. Maybe a grilled cheese tasting next time with like fancy with fillings in the grilled cheese. Maybe some soup to dip, dip it in. Maybe some soup. My favorite soup, this is such a weird one. What's your favorite soup? Uh, I'd probably toss it between lobster bisque oh. and clam chowder. Yeah. Does your mom make both of those? She makes uh, clam chowder, not lobster bisque though. Those are fancy. Those are really soups. good. I also like like tomato, vegetable, beef, um, Chicken noodle, obviously. We didn't grow up with a lot of soup. In uh, Texas, that's just like... Yeah, more chili-based there. Very much <laughs> chili-based. But my favorite soup is cream of asparagus. i never heard that. <laughs> I've never heard of cream of asparagus. Yeah, it's really good. I've heard of good. cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. No, cream of asparagus. Huh. I also do cream of zucchini, and I do cream of cauliflower. And that sounds good and healthy. i never had it, though. I noticed that you're not jumping to ask for my recipe. Do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you guys have family dinner growing up? Of course. Like every night? No. Too, too many kids for that. How many Always kids? Activities and four of us. So. 
So family dinner comes around. Here, let's make sure that this is covered just a little bit. So family dinner comes around. Mm -hmm. Is the conversation all about sports? Uh, no. It's usually, there's a lot of making fun of each other, a lot of back and forth banter. Um, usually, it's kind of the opposite. We don't like talking about sports sometimes. Are all of your siblings in sports? Like, what are the other activities your siblings do? Yeah, so I had, uh, my sisters play volleyball. One played in college, and one is still playing. She's in high school, and then my little brother is playing baseball and basketball like I did, so he's 12. So family dinner comes around, mom makes dinner, I'm assuming. That's right, yeah, so, yeah usually. During COVID, we kind of did a thing where we took turns, because like, you were so bored, and, you know. <laughs> you so what was anything. the best thing you made then? Oh, uh, we made a really good like chipotle chicken pasta. Mm. And like, kind of like the crock pot, and we found a recipe online, and it was really good. That sounds delicious. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I am somewhat relieved to hear that family dinners didn't take place every night. So we had family dinner every single night in my house. I am super happy that we did that because there was a lot of memories. But both my brother and I played sports, mm -hmm. and we took piano lessons. And so sometimes family dinner was at 9.30 at night. Yeah. Th yeah. So we would have snack. I kid you not. We would have snack at 7 p.m. And dad was working downtown, so like sometimes the commute. But you all sat at the table when everybody was home, and you had some sort of version of family dinner. That's a good thing. It was a really good thing, but my eating schedule was completely out yeah. of whack. I mean, you're eating dinner at like 9.30 and then yeah. going straight to bed. Yeah, we, we've had a bunch of those too. It's just, you're so busy with sports, school, activities, whatever it might be. It's too hard. What's a sport you wish you would have played? Um, or given a shot? Uh, I, I was going to try football. I never did, really. Um, but I wish that I'd started golfing sooner, yeah. earlier than I didn't start until college, and I really enjoy it. But yeah. You mentioned earlier you don't have a lot of patience. Yeah. But you golf. I do golf. This is why I struggle with golf. Golf is good. It's good for the mind. Really, because my yeah. mind only says, "Gosh darn it!" I in know. Stronger language over and over and over again. Golf is, is about, I mean, it's about the closest thing you get to baseball in terms of, like, the mind, like, the mental skills and how hard it can be on you and uh, kind of just, like, that whole, like, approach to it. It's, uh, it's kind of fun. It's fun, but it's not, but, you know, it's one of those things. But, see, this is how I view catching. <sighs> The catching. catching is the last thing I would ever want to do. It's like it's fun, right. but it's really not fun. I mean, like, it's really, really not fun most times. Right. It's you caught, what, an 18 in a game, 19 in a game? Yeah, 18. Do you just not feel your legs? <laughs> Can you do a wall sit for 10 minutes straight? Uh, I don't know. I never tried. Maybe. Maybe not. What? Not uh, right now. <laughs> 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 Spring training. You, you should have just been. You should have just been squatting the entire time. We would see. I know. Do you do crazy workouts for your legs? You must. I do a lot of a lot of leg workouts. So a lot of it's squats. Kind of, it's, yeah, it's the base. I mean, you know, it's kind of the, you know, thing I need to do. Be able to squat. Make sure my knees are good. So I do a lot of, uh, you know, exercises. Keep my knees going. My glutes. Uh, all that stuff. Firing hamstrings. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of weird positions, knees down, uh, you know, weird angles. Uh, so you've got a lot of stretching, too. Can't forget about that. What's the biggest kitchen disaster you have ever had? The stir fry was pretty bad. Have you ever uh, made a giant mess? Yeah, I always make a giant mess when I cook. So who That's cleans up? That's one of my up? downfalls. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> who cleans up? Well, if, they have, if I have roommates, then if you cook, they clean. That's the rule. So, or if, so do they ever, or like, did you have to dirty every single dish in the kitchen? I, I do dirty a lot of dishes. So it does get pretty messy, and I hate doing the dishes. So Some people say that doing dishes is like they're meditative, like that's. <laughs> that's I'm, not real. There's no way. Yeah, I'm in the. I can think of. 
million other things I'd rather do than clean dishes. I'd rather do laundry, anything. You know what I hate to do? And this is so stupid. I hate to empty the dishwasher. Oh, yeah. I mean, I love the fact that the dishwasher exists. I just hate emptying the dishwasher. Yeah. I don't know why. It takes me all of 90 seconds. Uh, it's just annoying. I honestly just let it sit for a long time. Then I'm getting, if I need a clean dish, I'll just go to the dishwasher and <laughs> pull it out. <laughs> Your roommates must love you. Yeah. So we had the Super Bowl. Yes. And I was like, go to the store and get one of those like, like pre-seasons pork tenderloins, yeah. Smithfield or whatever, like this big. Yeah. Like just go get me one of like two of those. I can put them on the grill. Like it's easy. I can do it. And uh, he's like, I get there. He's like, oh, I went to Costco and got you this ginormous pork loin. I'm not exaggerating. It was this big. And he's like, what am I supposed to do with this? He's like, cook it. I was like, it's going to take hours. So. That was an adventure. We've been eating pork for the last four days. <laughs> there's, there's only two or, I mean, there's three of us in the house, and <laughs> I was like. Did he not, did he think he was. We have so much pork if you want some. <laughs> I mean, there's so much. We still got it in the fridge. I don't know what he was thinking, I'm going to be honest with you. Does he ever cook? Like, does yeah. he? Yeah. It's Festa, so. <laughs> We're not supposed to name names. Festa, no, I'm calling him out right here. Forgetting. He, and he, well. And pork loins aren't as good as tenderloins, so. Hmm. There's a slight difference. A little so fattier. you were not happy with this all no, the way around? No, it ended up being pretty good. We made, you had to get like creative with it. We ate it straight up the first day. We had sliders the next day. Shredded it the next day. I'm very <laughs> impressed with you. <laughs> I Cook, You Measure is presented by Ascend Hospitality Group. Watch the entire episode and season on YouTube.